What is going on people? Leo here from Creative Tech Lab. We're back today with another iMovie tutorial. Today we're talking specifically about how to add background music to your iMovie clips. May seem super simple to someone who already knows, but when it is that you're a beginner in the software, at least I remember when I was a beginner in the software, I remember it took a little while to figure out all the different ways to add clips and the little nuances in there. Super simple once you know how to do it, but sometimes it can be a little counterintuitive on how to get it done. So let me jump into the software. I'm gonna show you a couple different ways how to do it. So how to add straight from the library, both just dragging it onto the timeline, the entire clip. I'll also show you how to select just a piece of the audio if there's just something you wanna do from the library. Then I'll also show you how to add music just from say your downloads folder in Finder if you don't know where the clip is in your library. And then lastly, I wanna show just one more extra thing that I don't think a lot of people realize, but sometimes when you download music, it doesn't always show up in your library, but if you just open it in iTunes, it will then transfer over to the library. You could select it from the library. And then aside from adding just music, I'll also show you how to add um, multi-layers in case you wanted to do some sound effects as well. So we do saw a couple sound effects with the music, with the clips, multiple sound effects. So you can see that you can add multiple different things on the background music. And aside from the music, you can add the effects and stuff as well. So let's jump into the software and show you how it's done. All right, so we're in iMovie here and we have our clip and let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and detach the um, audio from this clip because we don't need it. So I'm going to option command B just to detach that audio and get rid of that there. So then this is where all your media would be for your project. If you wanted to look at everything that was in your iMovie library, all your content would be here. But typically this is what our project um, window would look like. And if we're looking for audio, we'd go under the audio tab and it would have all your audio that's in iTunes here. Of course, you have a drop down here that could give you other options. So you have your home videos, you recently added, you recently played your voice memo. So let's say you recorded something and you want to add uh, audio. You could do that there. Just for reference, your Apple Music um, files will not work because those are just for streaming. So you can't add that to your file. You can only add something that you own. So Apple Music won't work um, for anything that you don't actually own on your desktop. So let me find something here and put it something that's not um, copywritten here, something from Epidemic Sound. So I have this track here and I'm just going to, it shows up here. This is your track here. Um, I'm just going to grab it if I want the entire thing, select the entire thing and just pull it down onto the timeline. And now you can see it's attached to the clip. If I move the clip, the audio will move with it. So that's how you um, do the entire clip. If you just wanted to select a piece of it though, you could do I for in and then select somewhere else and out and that will make a selection on the clip. And then you just get a piece of the clip there. So that would just give you a piece of the clip there if you wanted to do that. Um, and then I know something that a lot of people run into is that you just downloaded a song from the internet, say, and you want to add that to your clip and you're looking in here and you just don't see it. Usually when you download something in Apple, it goes to your downloads folder. So in this case, you have one of two options. You can just take it from the downloads folder, which is pretty self-explanatory. You could just click and drag it into your project just like that. However, one thing a lot of people don't realize though, that is if you open that file, it will open up into iTunes. And now that file will show up here um in your if you were to search for it so if you downloaded something and you didn't see it open it up in itunes first and now when you go to this tab it will be there and you could just drop it onto the clip if you wanted to or select it with the same in and out um, properties that we talked about before and now yeah that's how you add audio and add music and then the one other thing i wanted to show you guys there as we the music playing is you could add multiple clips so let's say you wanted to add um, some effects you do have effects in your iMovie tab you could do a bunch of different effects there so let's see there we go you have an ambient effect you have a bark you could add a dog bark you could do 
all these different things and you could stack them so now you see i have my music i have all these different things that are happening at the same time i'm not sure i'm gonna push the little sound little sound design on iMovie but you could add a bunch of different things there if you wanted to a baseball bat and again you could stack these there if you wanted to have multiple things happening on different timelines and yeah that's how you add audio to apple music all right so there you have it now you know how to add your background music from multiple different forms you should be able to navigate around the software a little bit better so hopefully this helped you in some way shape or form that's the whole reason for doing these iMovie tutorials i do have an entire series i will link somewhere up here and you can check them out but again i can remember when it was that i was first starting in iMovie and i wanted to know some of these little things so this is my way of just giving back so if you like the video please drop it a like um hit the notification button we do drop one of these iMovie tutorials at least once a week. We also do a lot of different things around video creation using smaller cameras and audio engineering and audio production as well. Check out the website creativetechlab.com also to accompany the YouTube channel and I will catch you in the next one. Bow, bow, bow.